This is a continuation of our previous video on plasmalogen. In that video, we discussed about the distribution of plasmalogen, the functions of plasmalogen, and what are the requirements for synthesizing plasmalogen in a cell. We should understand that plasmalogen was uh, initially identified by Robert Fulgen and K. Voigt in 1924. Now, meanwhile, we should understand Fulgen had discovered or established a methodology for staining cell nucleus. What he did, he will treat it with the Fulgen sulfurous acid and in the if the cell nucleus will be stained a kind of a red violet color so this by using this they could identify the cell nucleus what exactly they used to do they will make tissue slices they will fix it on a slide by dehydrating with the alcohol so after it is dehydrated with alcohol they will treat it with an acid so that if the DNA will get hydrolyzed. Once if the DNA is hydrolyzed, if the deoxyribose will react with the Fulgen sulfurous acid and it will give a red violet color. Now, one day it happened that they made several tissue slices. Then it was, you know, they had to go for a holiday and they were not able to stain the cells. So in a hurry, what they did, they immersed all the slides in mercurous chloride and went for a holiday. When they returned, they made a mistake. Remember, several discoveries were made from such mistakes people, scientists have committed. What is the mistake they made? Instead of hydrolyzing the DNA with an acid, they directly stained it with the Fushin sulfurous acid. What did they observe? They observed either cell get picking up the stain and not the nucleus. Now this is something very curious. What uh, Fulgen thought is it should be an aldehyde picking up the stain in the in the cytoplasm. Uh, remember at that time there were a lot of studies going on with regard to glycolysis and he thought it is an aldehyde and it should be acetaldehyde. Beginning from what is observed in plasma so therefore he called that plasmal originating from plasma and thinking that there is an original molecule from which this is produced so therefore it, he called it plasmalogen generating from plasmalogen so therefore that is how in the name plasmalogen came into existence we are going to understand in seven steps how the plasmalogen molecule is being produced this is the structure of a plasmalogen molecule now remember this is an uh, ether bond, this is an ester bond and the choline molecule, the uh, ethanolamine molecule is attached to this to a basic structure of glycerol 3 phosphate. How is it being done? Now remember that these reactions will occur in two different locations in a cell. In the first two reactions will take place in the peroxisomes. and the remaining reactions will occur in the endoplasmic reticulum. Therefore, we are finding how a pathway is using two different locations to synthesize. 